That is... That's genuinely startling. It really makes you rethink things, doesn't it? It suggests pretty strongly that a well-managed plant-based diet can support even that kind of extreme output. That's a lot of testing. It tells you how important they believe it is. Uh -huh. And the science is really catching up to this idea. Right, that a healthy gut is just fundamental, not just for general health, but especially for athletes. Especially endurance athletes. Gut problems are a huge limiter, something like 60 to 80% deal with them. If your gut isn't working, you can't absorb nutrients, you can't get the energy you need. It doesn't matter how good your VO2 max is if your digestion fails you halfway through a race. It's that base systemic work, like the physiologist called it, foundational health. Exactly, you need that resilience. He even broke down the types of bacteria. There are mucolytic ones, like Acromantia and Fecalobacterium. They interact with the gut lining, help activate the immune system. Then the regulatory ones, Bifidobacteria, Lactobacilli, involved in neurotransmitters, hormones, metabolism. So having a good population of those bacteria actually helps you recycle lactate and boost performance. Okay, mine's slightly blown. Is there data on Killian showing this in action? Oh yeah, UTMB 2022. Ultra Trail du Mont Blanc, at kilometer 150, that's after like 17 hours of running. His blood lactate measured 19.9 millimoles per liter.